Last week we did a video on the insane hype and success of Virgil Abloh's Off-White brand. But some may not know that Off-White is not Mr. Abloh's first venture in streetwear. In 2017, Virgil Abloh has worked with the likes of Travis Scott for his Bird's Eye View tour merch, Lil Uzi Vert's Pain Is Love 2 album cover, and all the way as high as Jordan Brands for his Sneaker of the Year winning Air Jordan 1 collab. But as we mentioned before, this isn't his first rodeo. A few years ago, three friends, Virgil Abloh, Matthew Williams, and Hiran Preston introduced the Ben Trail brand to the world of streetwear. Consisting of mainly, if not mostly, lo-fi minimal designs based on hashtags and the Rocky Horror Funded logo, the brand received plenty of scrutiny in the beginning. With many citing dubious at best quality and insanely over the top price tags, which includes the now infamous $100 pair of shoelaces. Despite the side eyes of many, Ben Trill managed to generate a monumental amount of hype by using the fact that they were a trio of DJs with cool celebrity friends that were willing to lend a helping hand in promotion. And by help, I mean, how would you like Kanye West, Drake, Big Sean, and Rihanna being seen rocking shirts and hats with your brand emblazoned across the chest and the uh, other areas? Hmm? Hmm? Sounds pretty helpful, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, they had a hell of a run. And when they were up, they did bang up numbers and made meaningful moves such as launching an app, introducing custom branded t-shirts, they appeared in Kanye West's debut APC collection, and there were even rumors of an Adidas collaboration sneaker. However, like all vehicles driven by hype, what goes up must come down, and in 2015, the brand suffered a significant fall from grace. So, what exactly caused this downfall? Let's take a look. Consider for a second a brand like Supreme. Although today it is extremely hyped and celebrity endorsed, that's not what won over the hearts and minds of consumers for the New York based skate brand. They built the house from the bottom up, focusing on quality offerings and extremely limited quantity. And although today the box logo tee has been a long time fave of fans, Supreme has offered plenty of unbranded designs as well. Ben Trill, on the other hand, at its peak could be purchased anywhere including PacSun locations all around the country. And if there's one thing we know about Hypebeast, that's if everyone can purchase a particular item, then at that point it became uncool, and so began the avalanche. There was nothing to stop repeated accusations that this was just a group of well-connected influencers cashing in on hype generated by their celebrity friends. And it was at that moment that we all began to slowly wake up and go, hey. We been do Tiff. The official nail in the coffin came in 2014 when ASAP Rocky dropped his multiply track running down brands like Ben Trill and Hood by Air. By 2015, the brand was minimally relevant at best and at worst, roast worthy. And the original founding team had jumped ship for greener pastures. He when Preston launched the HPC Trading Company, an art object store frequently sold through Instagram. And we all know what became of Virgil Abloh. He also landed on his feet and became Kanye West's creative director and launched another brand, Pyrex. Pyrex was another brand based on graphic design, but this time around to ensure better quality, they were printed on iconic fashion brands such as Ralph Lauren and Champion Sportswear. Featuring the trademark white bars and Pyrex branding, the name was eventually changed again and it evolved into what we now know as Off-White. But in the sake of fairness, the crew's co-founder Matthew Williams did admit, quote, it's always been about having fun with friends because our social media presence we can amplify small spontaneous ideas so that it seems much bigger than it actually is so what i gather is that the founders never really expected the idea to blow up the way it did and the fact that it caught on was just bonus so what do we learn here although hype can be great for business branding sometimes it could be not so great and if done wrong it can actually tank your business two things are clear one Oversaturation kills hype. And two, hype beasts really don't appreciate poorly crafted merchandise sold at ridiculously high prices. Well, hmm, maybe not so sure about that second one. So anyway, rest in peace, Ben Trill. Apparently you will not be missed. So if you enjoyed this video, then show some love by hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates every time we drop a new video. Our video catalog is getting a little thick, so shoot over and check out some of our previous videos and that should hold you over until the next one. So for TakeFlight214.com, I'm Nate the Great, signing out.